listening. What about him? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature, powerful beyond measure, and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies. A lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakid spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlakith's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Orpheus is honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as Geich, tadpoled husks in the Empress' thrall. I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. Very well. So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact, or astral prism, the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore, nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? Very serious of you. But go ahead. I suppose you've earned it. Fine. What's on your mind?
There's no more radiant sight shadowed in name, but no longer in spirit. It suits her. have a new look for a new shadow heart <laughs> nice as it is she still doesn't have the best hair in the camp the thing that will decide my fate forevermore yes it's been on my mind why I hadn't really decided on the specifics. Obviously, we could stop the ritual, or not. What? <laughs> I've obviously thought about it. If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves, and take their nether stones. will be watching, no doubt. Waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. on my mind and, well, in it.
Um, excuse me, I can't find my mum. She was, um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Wow. Thanks. My mum would like this. She's the best cook in the world. And she taught me, too. I'll, um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. Soon enough. You have ever... <sighs> Can't talk. I'm sorry. The little one needs all of my attention. Do you know where we're going? What kind of inn is it? Will there be feather beds? We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. Nearly there now. See the city. Up on the hill. It's up there and we're down here. That's why I'm... Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. For now. But I can't let you pass. We might have repelled an advance party, but they'll strike again. I appreciate the... Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything. No passage this way, I'm afraid. Well, hello.
What to do? Keep a blade close. What's next? Never a dull moment. I know it's all good, but you'll be in a big, cozy bed soon enough. You have anything you want for supper. All the treats your tummy can handle. If I was a shower in the sort of place I'd wait around. An earthquake, perhaps. Strong enough to rouse the dead, too. Crossing. This is it. I'm almost home. I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <laughs> and if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. Capable. Not for you to know.
keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. Good little hero. Though, perhaps your better nature would extend a little further for little old me. I need to get into the city, but it's hard to shuffle your way to the front of the queue when you're, well, big as an ox. But what if I was smaller, more discreet? Maybe then a kind soul might bring me through, right in their little pocket. Ooh. This day has ended so much better than it started. No, you don't worry about me. I'll be a good, quiet little apple you can tuck into the corner of your pack. Just until we're inside the city walls. Hail, Cyric. I can't wait to get inside. Citizen, this is a restricted area. Explain yourself. Funny enough for me to take you to Manip Nesta. The hell's are you doing in here? This is a bar, not a museum. Now get gone. If you want to chat, talk to Nesta. Right, that's it. Off to the cells with you.
Donations? Do you not have eyes? The refugees. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Well, if you must, I suppose it's... But why are you still flapping your lip? Not for communal use, it seems. I hear you've been given permission to be... <laughs> you best not piss away, man. Go slowly. This place is dangerous. Who's that rummaging around in there? Show yourself! You have two seconds to explain yourself before you're under arrest. What? Those are children's toys. Which means if a child had picked one up... I don't want to think about it. How do I know you're not the one who planted those explosives? All right, I guess it can't hurt. I'll check up on the rest of the goods. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. I thought this assignment was going to be dull. No such luck. Who would do such a thing?
Is that blood? No, never mind. Gods. Any one of... Who would do such a thing? I say, terribly decent of you to come over and exchange pleasantries. Oh, how kind of you to say. I have been growing my bristles out. It's something of an art, you see. Salutation. Actually got here safely, towing along my wife, sister, and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? My son Garen is pleased we got this far together. But his wife's bitching is making me old before my time. Why can't he? Christine is can't stand her, can't stand her, can't stand her! My sister in... Washing my pits, washing my pits. This is the song when I'm... Oi! Could a blood not get any bleeding privacy around here? Bunch of perverts! So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. Uh, I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. What a sad situation. The once proud tieflings of Elturel, reduced to beggars. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Hail, friend. Forgive me, you're in no mood to talk about the weather. Your journey here was a hard one, no doubt. Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate? It's a fine city, isn't it? No better place to hail from. Used to be you'd arrive knowing you had a full belly and a warm bed waiting for you. Not anymore. These days, there's belly enough to go around. I had the refugees on top and well. Folk aren't feeling too generous. Oh. 
I've been asking myself the same question. I wouldn't be the first to interfere. Some well-to-do's in the city donated enough to see the newcomers right for the time being. Only they didn't bother helping everyone else. Locals going without while strangers feast. It stoked the fire, all right. Some Baldarians are kicking up a fuss round the front of the barn as we speak. If I wasn't wearing this uniform, I'd walk round there and teach him a lesson they'd never forget. I knew you'd feel the same way. Those refugees have been leeching on our city for too long. If we don't show them that we mean business, we need to march round the front and kill every last one of them. Let's see them eat our food with their guts on the floor. What do you say? Tell them! I'll cut out their eyes and make them watch! You're the Lick Spittle who crushed the Bone Lord's thrall. Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. You'll need to bleed and carve this city if you want to turn him to grave meat. He shivers at the thought. <laughs> When you find the Lordling, tell him Orin is watching. So, Orin is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? What? <sighs> I'm Bush. I ran for days to get someplace safe, and then found out I'm last in line to get in. Because I'm a hobgoblin. As if I could change that. Well, hello. Quite clearly a restricted area. Garen, you know the room. We call your voice. Still breathing, despite everything. Ah! Whatever you need. I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. Not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends. And I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. Don't know how we're going to get Grunch into the city. Wounded as he is. But we have to. 
We've got to get Grunch into the city. But he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? Nah. We got here first, friend. You're... Back off! I found... <laughs> if you're here to... Picnic. Fine day for it, eh? Got practically smell it. Shut it. Scavenged Did you hear something there? Almost like a crow. Well, we're by a windmill after all. Probably I'll destroy. Every last blood sucker. Rechte hathran rust. Frey, thou disc durovna. Frey, thou disc ablast. He clearly walked into some kind of ceremony, but it's nothing that you recognize. The hunter has nothing to... You do recognize the language, however. These people are gur. A tribe of monster hunters, just like the one you met in the Hag's Swamp. Im orak, nete, krasin, netra. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When we sent Gandrel after you, we wanted to interrogate you, to discover how to save our children and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Free. Not while his master still lives. But he has, perhaps, earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Cazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. I spent 
200 years, bringing him victims. Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. I suppose. Yes. Yes. Revenge I can do. Thank you. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> If you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. I know tears will not bring our children back. There is nothing to forgive. It is only wrong. Our dead fought well. Exterminated. So we may shed nothing blood less will do. tomorrow.
in my pack. empty. Time to wait.
the cube. I'm fading fast. I must heal. Well, some rests better than none. Someone was arranging these corpses. What for? Oh, that should more than suffice. few fingers. Not the most appetizing find. Looks like these people were trying to hide in the tunnels here. Rather unsuccessfully, it has to be said.
Just another crate.
No one stopped me yet. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Soup kitchen's no good if we've no one to feed soup to. Besides, Father Logan's gone. Murdered. And now they're blaming a refugee for it. Some folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees. But I don't think they'd kill him for it. At least... I hope they wouldn't. That's a scary thought. you. Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. You'd interrupt me for something like that? Just rub a bit of aloe on. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a dead high priest to see to. Slowly. Logan was a good man, if naive. He deserved better. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. We give them everything. Tempers are rising. It's clear not every... Oh, 
The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hiding Brilgorn from fists. Must protect innocence. Ill mater's will. Dwarf dressed in red. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Took him to the tunnel with the rest. Oh, fool, fool. The spell's power went. Look, investigator, Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorcan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. Thank you. I wouldn't normally speak so harshly, but these are rather unique circumstances. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target.
Brilgor was a refugee. No one sticks up for them at the best of times, and with Gortash in power... Well, I expect the Flaming Fists will ban refugee aid now one of them's blamed for murder. You think Ilmata looks at a Boldarian differently to anyone else? I like to think the gods are smarter than that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a temple to run and a high priest to replace. More outsiders in, and more Baldurians die. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? Exactly. Logan let a killer into our temple due to his misguided compassion. His faith got him murdered. Bill, I beg you, be Even sinners receive Ilmater's grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Thank you, stranger. I take some solace knowing that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. Our temple is open to you. And Father Lorcan, I've nothing against Father Lorcan. Ilmater rest his soul. But his methods need to rest with him. We need change. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. But few as good as I... with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki, 
We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Gith Yankee prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the astral prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barter Vlakith. Commander of Dragons, my only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me, make your promise. Lazar's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacketh. Traitor! I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me! I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word! Your word is nothing! You are nothing! The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you.
Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the One in the Void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Every corner of Lazelle's mind. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazelle's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, and new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so, from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tmar Salar Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward! Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Vlaketh's left hand and her right. Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlaketh won has a Bart to Vlaketh been anointed. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. We find Voss at Charesse's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the prince. Orpheus tough King Narsin. back. You read something in its eyes. Doubt. Resignation, perhaps. I'm just a cat. P -p please talk to Yenna. I d -d don't like talking. Yenna is my best friend. She's kind. Help her, not me. 
N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. M maybe she made like a cat and went off to, to spend her last life. P please don't. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. So, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. What can I do for you, my friend? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had... I... It sounds awful. I hope you're here to discuss that contract you just signed. Agreeing to give away our greatest hope of salvation wasn't the wisest of moves. Why are you so certain we shouldn't? I promise you, whatever outcomes we're hoping for in this world-ending endeavor of ours, letting that devil get hold of the crown must not be one of them. No. What we should be pursuing is knowledge. We need to learn more about that crown. We should pay a visit to Sorcerer's Sundries. Their book collection is the envy of the Sword Coast. I'm certain the truth lurks somewhere on their shelves. The only kind I have? Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Glad to see Mazel did well to break free of Vlacketh's manipulation with. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Fate. Dost thou require a new ally? The girl has left to hew her own path. She left behind a letter, as thou doth know. Hast thou other business? I can still feel the shadow fell all over me. Hear her words in my ear. I feel unclean. I want to wash it away. All of it. I have an idea, but I'll need your help. Just Wait until the others are asleep, then come with me. There's a place we can go. Down the coast a little. Good. Until then. Get some rest while you can.
sleeping very well, I hope. Look after my angel, of course. A hundred. She... We'll both of us stand by you when the time comes to put down the horror that threatens this city. We are your allies, for life. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be This will do. Take off. A little misdirection. Couldn't resist. <laughs> What's the matter? I know. But it's nice to hear you say it. I... I don't know if I can do this, now that I'm here. hiding underwater, and the drowning, and the cold. Did I mention the drowning? Let's get on with it, before I lose my nerve. can face things without Shah. I don't want to go back. Not just yet. <gasps> just a pebble. Don't you dare stop.
for us to decide Please, who deserves any In the name of grace. the crying one, have mercy. Why not? We are his adherents. Who would know if not us? To know the Lord's will is blessed. We interpret scripture and teachings, but we know nothing. You have my attention.
What's, what's that smell? Sulfur? Bizarre. Oh, oh, that's it. Make love to the air, Skellies. Ah, Lucille. It's Pose Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jacob, you have the grace of my great-grandmother's missing leg. Ah, and Boris. Boris! Put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. We are decades from that. I hope they could open for dribbles. Not that my star needs the support, but at this rate, who knows? Call me Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage, but these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. You call that a pose? Again, again! Silver tongue at your service, or I will be once my set is done. Ooh, a circus! How oh, I love the raucous reverie, the goofs, and the guffaws! <laughs> Approach, ugly one. Yeah. 
Yes! Behold! Akabi's Wheel of Wonders! Spin! To win prizes beyond your tiny imagination! And make your miserable life more bearable! Let us see if you have luck's favor. Alas, no jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. Yes! Drown me in... Alas! No jackpot for you, ugly one. But you are welcome.
My faith will guide me. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Lovely day it is. For now. Still breathing, despite everything. Charmed, I'm sure. Got a long road ahead. The job, Captain. Should last us the job. If you're after a job, Neverwinter is on the lookout for adventurers. That's where we're headed. Like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh? Uh, I don't know about wands. Uh, but everything Master Gildraw forges. He's a master craftsman. See for yourself.
Want more? Something over there. the temple. They blame us for everything. The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people. Holy people. You're looking for a times maybe hard.
better than nothing. We have the Duke's full support for the good of the people. Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? I'm afraid Article 30.1.7 stipulates that... I will repeat, for the last time, may I add, do you have means to support yourself? Right. Article... Your name...
Well met, citizen Fluffington. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. State your business. Eyes open, body still. The Watcher will communicate with our new intelligence directorate. They'll det upstanding citizens have no reason to fear. And you are an upstanding citizen. Behind the Watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare, as witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes. It has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge and the stone floors left bloodied. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die. Let up. material. That was a great headline. Oh my god. 
great headline. Material. That'll make a great headline. Got to keep fighting. Fascinating. Outraged. To push my luck again. Material. Nothing will stand in my way.
Outraged. Front page material. That'll make a great headline. Material. That'll make a great headline. line. material. Page 
age material. What path lies before me? That'll make a great headline. Material. That'll make a great headline. material. to keep going. Need to stay focused.
King Five. Oh. Impero.
have helped. Front page material. There's a story here, and there you are, the hero of the hour, walking right up to me. The name's Lens, reporter with the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. Care to do a quick interview? Let me stop you there. We'll need to be a bit more focused. Word counts, you know. How about I ask you a few questions, and you just tell me the first thing that comes into your head? So, you've arrived at Baldur's Gate. What's brought you here at a time like this?
You have? I thought our soon-to-be Lord Gortash had things in hand. Though, if anyone could help him, it would be you. You've got a knack for finding chinks in the Absolute's armor. My sources tell me you recently vanquished the fearsome General Ketherick Thorn. How did you manage that? Defying the gods themselves. I had no idea. Taking out one of the Absolute's generals was no mean feat. You must feel confident for the battles ahead. The cult's threat is far from extinguished. What's your plan of attack? You think chaos courses through your veins? You have no idea. Still rolling in the muck, I see. You think I can't sniff the secrets hidden in your pretty skull? What you seek, what you need. Gortash knows you are coming, knows you have the Bone Lord Stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm weakened brain. Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. She's toying with me. What does she want? Delivery not guaranteed. Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and I'll become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? Not the foggiest. Normally they fly true as an elven arrow. Something nearby is snatching them, I can tell you that much. Well, uh, any letters you find? Bring them back to me, or oh, no. Gortash has been named Archduke. Time to pay Worm's Rock a visit. Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. Look where it's giving you. I've no need of a wing man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. Name and rank, quickly now. There's a war on! At ease! At ease! I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionfa! State your purpose, ground walker! I don't have all day! Oh, 
damned awful business. Fine fires, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Got one rooftop away. They're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. Yes? Can I help you? Sure. I can tell you where to find her, but you might find the conversation rather one-sided. She's buried in the temple crypt. Passed only last year. Poor thing. This must be where Shira Clowen is buried. Here lies Satida Atana, born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker, born 1400 DR, died 1456 DR. Here lies Reloric Windbane, born 1399 DR, Died 1486 DR. Here lies sister Shira Clawen. Date of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. Here it is. Tomb of the Amulet Spirit's granddaughter. Here lies sister Shira Clawen. Date of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. Thou might be, alas. <laughs> Let's get going. Oh, 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 oh. Honored her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh! <laughs> Shall it be thou? The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom.
<laughs> well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a lark. much longer. ready for you. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times.
I brought my own paring knife. But please. Dog is unable to speak through the. I don't know. All I know is I thought of you when. Be honest. What do you think of the new look? Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. I hope so. So long as I'm willing to stroll right into the Mother Superior's trap, they have no reason to not tell me where to go. If by warm you perhaps mean a flaming arrow, I doubt they'll attack in public. No, I expect they'll point me in the right direction so I can face my reckoning away from prying eyes. Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds, and... Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Color looks familiar. Does this cat belong to Gail? You notice the Tresum guards a shining ring and stack of letters at its feet. Yes. Yes, pigeon meat is my second favorite. Importance is relative. A letter may be important to one. A growling belly may be more important to another. Uh, but let's not get bogged down in semantics. I believe you were just leaving, weren't you? Ta! Aviary, you say? Well, that does sound quite interesting. The brood here is getting a little thin. Perhaps 
guess while I'm seeking out this new feast hall, I'll pay a few visits around town. I might have sussed some interesting items I'd rather like to get my paws upon. If I find anything interesting, I might even be willing to barter. Might. Tara. Away. across those letters yet? Idea the kindness. What's the worst that can happen if we get caught sneaking in? A few days in a jail cell. At least we'd have a bed. Want a dagger? Oh, yay! Want more? Want less? There's more than one way to skin a dresser. We'll find a way into the city. They work for the guild. What's the worst that can happen if we get caught sneaking in? A few days in a jail cell? At least we'd have a bed. Worst that can happen is one of those steel watchers scamping us. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Deluvia! Get these squatters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. Zenobia and I are just navigating a slight contractual disagreement. Not that it's any of your concern.
You don't exactly look very well. Do you think you're clever coming in and undercutting? We were about to make a bit of extra cash before... The Guild, a loose coalition unifying every criminal outfit in the city under one collective rule, from cut purses to contract killers. Just a little something. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Oh, you know, it's shocking how many people opt for the hard way when the easy way is right there. Any last words? You're serious. Let's forget this unpleasantness ever happened. Come on, boys. You see, those animals are out of the picture. Can we stay now? Or are you going to turn us next? I don't want to take charity from some sh Thank you. We'll get going as soon as we've got our things to get... All swell that ends well, eh? Here's your payment. I've got so much to do now, Idrid. Look, I really don't have time to chat. I thank you so much for your interest, but it's really none of your... Go ahead. I'm listening. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here. What can I do for you? Lead on. What now? Thank you. 
your back. has been converting toys into deadly traps. Very naughty. This must be where he was making them. There's no shortage of evidence. See what new horrors waiting for us. Again. Did you need something? How do you... Whatever you think you know, I, I, I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. Please don't! What do you want from me? It's not my fault! I was forced to do this! Framed, even. They would have killed me if I refused to rig the toys. And they're definitely going to kill me now. I can't tell you. I won't tell you. All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. The teddy bears... What an experiment. My greatest invention. A clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. But there's more. Smoke powder. Inside the device. I collect packages from Veloga's fireworks in the lower city and 
not because I want to. Because I have to. I, I don't know who's in charge. Go there. There. His plea comes with an offering. A pass granting you access to the lower city. Should it take your fancy? Such sweetness should be shared. against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take off. You, you're a true Baldarian, I can tell. You must understand why we need to keep these strays out of our city. Another bleeding heart. I'm not paid to debate with civilians. I just lost a wager. Who are you? Someone who bets that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to... There have been whispers about you, sister. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has Our Lady forsaken you? I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable. Now I must report your reappearance. Though, if I was you... What? Don't pay me any mind now. Thank you for your help with those toys. Lord on the rack, give me patience. These protesters keep... I just hope... They... Back off and return to your homes. That's an order. I'm busy. Glad to see you. Oh, to be fair. No, I'm afraid I must insist you do not. My love, you can't keep it. All the grabbing and touching startles poor Biscotti. I will not apologize for caring about my boy. Whatever the dog thinks. Well, war is no. Oh, oh, God! Are they going to see it? What happens if they don't see it? Yes! Oh, goodness, yes! I am a good dog! Fantastic stuff! Oh, yes, you're lovely! You can come back! Here we are, Griselda. Oh, all in one piece. I wish the cult hadn't burnt our farm, though. At least we got the Scotty out of that burning barn. 
If you've never... This gate at last. It's a racket. Yeah, the it's a racket. I've packed bags for myself and the kids. Ready by the door. You should do the same. Something the matter? Oh? Not feeling any regrets, I hope. I'm glad. I feel the same way. Though, I'm still finding sand in my hair. I wonder what the others will think of that. <laughs> but of course they will. I hope we'll have more opportunities to slip away. And make sandcastles. Then that's where we need to go. Your mind, you're not going to be able to get out. 
breath. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. <laughs> for communal use, it seems. Best show some...
Keep your distance, darling. Let's crack it open. Still alive, so that's progress. position. This is worth the cost. Can't slow down. Ready. Heading there.
nine days. Honestly. Well, I do. I'm listening. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? A practical choice. How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Ketherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been... brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Ketherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders, and I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing, an elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. Trying to guard us, the brain is restless. But I am distracted, and my lack of focus is endangering us. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Duke Stelmay, or Berlin, as I knew her. I wasn't ready for her death. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was... different from my relationship with you. In a way. But not the way you're thinking of. In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I concede the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone.
astute as ever. You think that mind flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. Villain thought the same at first. You are wrong. Feeling is vital to the pursuit of anyone's goals, even the mind flayers. Like you, mind flayers no fear. Like you, we crave recognition. But unlike you, unlike the others of my kind, I am no slave to either. My end is and always has been freedom. Berlin understood this. Berlin became my freedom. Apology accepted. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. Fish caught this morning. What'll it be? Come back soon. I found so many victims for Casador here. They're the kind of people no one would ever miss. Don't touch me. We have time. The runaway is still missing after all. Nothing happens until he's found. Symbol. Looking ahead. What do you reckon, lad? You trust these steel watcher thingamy jigs? Oi, oh, it's all right where we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Ah, uh, it's no good, I tell you. to Baldur's Gate, he said. Adventurers get welcomed as heroes, he said. Poxy Drim and his bleeding notions. Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren, and they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. Oh, yeah? But whoever's coronation close down city access should get special treatment. Sir, good, sir. Give me three days and... Oh, I... Apologies. Thought you were someone else. Greetings, so... How dare you of being a dwarf? Of me will miss it. He break his nose. 
It is our chance to start over, and I will gladly do so. Word to the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. Let me show you. What are you doing? My eye. Something over there. it on especially for you. Don't take it off later. I want to give it a good rumple.
To the heart was that one. Isn't right. <laughs> you know, oh, not again, another life. Have been taken from the patch. Much better to Dang make drinks. Again. You're a true Dang. talent. One she can win. Yeah. 
A weary traveller, battered and bruised, you come for sustenance, no, decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive, or have I misjudged you? Thought as much, those eyes tell a story. Punishment is your pleasure. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Swishing. I'm no fortune teller. If I had a crystal ball, I promise I'd already have consulted. Truth is, fion has gone well missing. And my hands may be skillful, but they were not made to turn every last stone she might be hiding behind. To service is my calling, not to be served. Ugh. But I'd be a fool to say no. The girl kept my cop two flights up, then turned right and right again. That's Fionn's pleasure room, Elminster's library. Here, take the key. I'm listening. Nisha, our lovely nymph. But she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. Indeed he did. Raphael. Exceedingly handsome, and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. Twins, yes. Hands of such skill they could turn stone to silk. Your body could suffer no not. They're through the curtain. To... You'll need coin and stamina in abundance to enjoy their services, but the gold will be as well spent as you are. Come to pay your respects to the real lady of the house, I see. What a clever creature you are. It's your lucky day. 
I am receiving compliments at this time, and you are most welcome to make an offering. Oh, you are quite correct. I consider them one of my finest features. The unwashed rabble who frequent this establishment have much to learn from your deference. And I must suffer their foibles alone. But they do say a burden shared is a burden halved. Can't you hear from here? They're talking about the new top cat in the criminal underbelly. Go and listen for yourself. As for them personally, one never washes and instead douses himself with rose oil, while the other can't hold his drink. The Drow, two of our most popular courtesans, a night with them seems to be rather life-changing. Of course, they are siblings. But judging from the throngs of clients they draw, most of the city is as disgusting as they are. That's rather a broad topic. We get all sorts here. But there is one frequent visitor whose very presence offends me. He dresses fabulously, but stinks of the hells. Something infernal, to be sure. Abhorrent. Sorry. Okay. Be careful. The two men bark softly to each other. It's a name you know. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. Oh, yeah. Seems everyone's got business with her. Heard the gal met her match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to oust... My blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. Hey! You still lurking about? I don't remember inviting you to the party. <laughs> Look, this subject's not safe. You selling Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guild All. And that's all you're getting from me. Now scram! The chat's officially closed. You have the key to my heart. She wants to be with it, bro. I put it on A new face. Looking for another chapter of dirty law for your biography? You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. <laughs> what do you think, silly? Love, of course. Hot and vul- Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezoberanzan love trick. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. <laughs> well, 
We want both of you, silly. At the same time. There's an idea. If you're comfortable sharing, so am I. Charming. There must be a sprinkling shower of gold first. <coughs> Coin. Let's go. This is thrilling. Be rid of that brute. Oh, no. Isn't it right? You didn't sign a treaty permitting you to march a warband through my lands. You paid for sex. little party we have assembled here, shall we? I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. Snuff out the lights before we begin. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. The lady, Nim, moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. All right, sweethearts. You dare to dance with a professional, you'll get your desire. His skin is like lusted pearls, almost translucent and so delicately smooth. He's so perfect. It could move even the toughest soul to tears. It's so easy to see why that body alone ruins so many lives. You... Haven't earned the right to stare at me like that. <laughs> None as beautiful as me. For this, I feel we should be paying you. Astarian lavishes attentions on everyone present with flawless technique. Unfazed. It's all pure instinct, but when you meet his eye for a moment, there's a look about him that reveals he's a million realms away. Give me a moment for pity's sake. You've exhausted. We recover quickly, but not that quickly. 
<sighs> Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm. In the city's chaos, with Baldur's Gate preparing for war, the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame before darkness falls. I didn't think I'd live to see the day when Lazelle turned her back on Vlakith. But all things considered, good for her. I suppose we didn't. Another life, perhaps. Of course. I suppose you've... it takes give you anything you ask there is only one thing in this world that i desire you do the kithrak what deal would he make with this devil you must help me raphael for the sake of my people hush now Voss. these guests may not know it yet but they want the same thing that you do and unlike you they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Kalak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. First time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while, so we can enjoy some privacy. The Illithid can't hear us.
I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. I suppose you'd rather suck on the Emperor's tentacles till the end of your days? This is your only hope of surviving this horror show without devolving into an illithid. To you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. The Orphic Hammer, an artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus, is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky, like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. 
The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world, and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. I am no mortal! And I do not fail. The Hells require order to function. It is what separates us from mortals and demons. With the crown, I would impose perfect order, unity, efficiency, control. My kingdom would control its borders and stay within them. Hedden. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years, for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the Brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Right here. You'll find everything is in order. The moment I have your signature, you will have the means to free Orpheus. The hammer. You guarantee the crown will be mine once the brain is defeated, and I swear that I will never use the crown to dominate a mortal.
I will come to collect. If you refuse to give me the crown, I collect your souls instead. And then we all gather in the House of Hope. Me dressed in my finest silks. You, skinless, hanging from a hook to watch as your world dies. Perfect. One more rhyme for old time's sake. The master was slain within his own house. They dined on him both, the cat and the mouse. The hammer is yours. You will find yourself in Orpheus's presence before the end comes. When you do, shatter the chains that hold him. Be sure to keep the hammer safe. Until then, your survival depends on it. And I'll keep your contract safe in my house of hope. I'll be seeing you. The ink has barely dried, yet you feel a growing disquiet at what exactly you just signed. Perhaps a Diabolus can offer some comfort. Or a way out. For a devil's bargain is a hard one to break. I'd sooner have imagined shattering a planet with my bare fist than taking a deal with a devil. But we shouldn't regret the bargain, not for one instant. Raphael can have his crown, if it means breaking Prince Orpheus free. The prince will be suspicious, but he won't be reckless enough to turn on. There'd be too little to gain from our death. Now, to the Charesse's Caress tap room. We must tell Voss the news. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Me too. It's concerning that something could come between us like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was? Press on. I will bolster your mental defenses and make sure this doesn't happen again.
Things have stayed interesting. Beautiful. More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. Oh. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you... Wait! I know you! I most certainly do. Your face! The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this man? <sighs> Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening?
Hells. I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. Is it not in the Elithid's barbarity that we find its splendor? Your eyes are no less monstrous, I assure you. A lesser woman might be frightened, but I am no lesser woman. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity. But an object of desire. Why should I deny it? My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. Rapture. Close your eyes and listen. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all being. Here. There is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? You are more than revered. You are worshipped. An epic sung by the bards. A legend known to the scholars. A god among mortals. When the hosts of the plains raise their voices in harmony, it is your name they sing, and your grace they seek. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I'll remember you, and you'll remember me. If you seek rapture, find it elsewhere.
have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. You paid Raphael a visit. Damn, Hoots! That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Oh! Raphael's latest client. Savior of the city, he says. Ah, oh, I forget, we've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long, we feel like old friends. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. You've made his century, you know. You're going to save us, Baldur's Gate, everyone, he says. Don't worry. The boss treats his clients right. He's as honest as his life is long. More than anything. My old dwarfen master used to beat me and feed me scraps. Raphael treats me right and feeds me well. Better to feast in the hells than go begging in the heavens. When I'm not keeping my eye on potential clients like you, I make sure the House of Hope is fully secure. When he's there, yes. But he's a busy man. Contracts and interests in many places and on many planes. This current crisis has him so busy, he's barely been home since he met you. Devils often have prettier hordes than dragons. Sneaking thieves into their vaults is a lucrative business doesn't usually end well for the thieves. But sometimes the thieves are rich, smart, or well-connected enough to come back in one piece. Take our esteemed Lord Gortash, for example. Talking about this won't end well for either of us. So, if you'll excuse me, conversation's over. I've got to sober up and get back to work. Put it on especially for you. Now, what can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. Don't know about that, chum. Hoots, Hooch could beef you up. Sharpen your tongue. Damn! First one's on the house. So, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. Have a look. All set, are you? My business is slinging tankards, not ordering secrets. Charest, correct? Get the attention you want, and... You're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Hell, darling. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. My like other anchor in for spicier flavors. How about you give me a taste?
Would you say, doll? Have a set on my lap. Let's see what pops up. Darling, how you set me a quiver. You are a beast among men. No, a dragon setting my phoenix nest aflame. <sighs> I shall slake your first dragon. You will part your lips and drink of my essence. Oh, I will drink your essence. Hoots, order up. Another tankard for the fist. The nymph's got a sweet tug and a figure to match, eh? My hands are full. You want a drink? Hoots is your woman. You want... Isn't right. Yes, I am. his leash. Not that type here, love. I've got a husband. And you ain't my type. Oh, thank the gods. I've had too many miscreants think my kitchen's just another themed playroom. I suppose, if you're willing to pay for it. Now get out from under my feet, would you? Will you tell Sorn that snails are not an aphrodisiac? Oh, you have the key yeah. to my heart. Oh, Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a deck. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I'll bet she's put you up to something. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine! If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Lorgan? I need... Look, I appreciate the amateur investigator act. With emphasis on the odd. But without hard evidence and an alternate motive, I consider this case closed. I presume you've found something interesting to discuss? If you're interrupt... Well, that is... Startling, it's still d I need proof. I presume you've found something interesting. To it was the Voss, friend to the comet, Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. A hammer? How can it be that you came to possess it? Was it Raphael? The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. Can it be? Will the mighty Prince Orpheus soon illuminate the Astral Plane? 
Gith's son will soon ride against Flakith, Foss, and I will follow him into battle. And you will wield the greatest gift Mother Gith ever granted her dauntless children. A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith, the great liberator. Istik, now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the plains, and I will fly to your aid. The Prince of the Comet will sear the heavens again. Let the Lich Queen tremble! Think again. I will not permit your entry. No, I do not. Questions, Istik? You seem to be lost in thought. The Prince of the Comet aches for Githyanki liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. Yes, but you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. No time to rest. Since I was old enough to hold a blade, I've dreamt of wielding a silver sword. The swords cleave both meat and mind, body and brain. To swing one, mesmerizing. To be slain by one, agonizing. Everyone I bleed with the sword will be my tribute to Prince Orpheus. You recall another fact about silver swords. The Githyanki forbid their use by all other peoples. Only Gith's children may wield swords of silver, unless a Githyanki grants the right in exceptional circumstance. The Illithid Grand Design nears. The true heir is shackled. These are exceptional circumstances. I grant my allies the right to my silver. <laughs> Certainly not, or the Prince's honor guard would have already fractured his prison. To break Orpheus free, we will need the Orphic Hammer.
Very well. Game. Play. A blast straight to the heart was that one. Yeah. One she can win. You know, I was an artificer in another life. Much better to make drinks. You're a true. You can stare as much as you like. My, my. You have but to ask. Don't be shy. We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. No more are needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there, ready for me. And once the mass is done and our lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Cazador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian! It... It cannot be. Well, that's no way to welcome back a brother, Dal. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Y you can't mean that. He's playing mind games. He can't raise a hand to the master, let alone kill him. You have no idea what I can do. Is he hiding? Tell me! Brother! Please! Fine. 
You owe your wretched life to my friend. Now tell me what I need to know. The Master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time. Hidden from us all. Do you really think you can stop him? I'm the only one who can. The sun can't harm me. Casador can't compel me. I don't need to fear him anymore. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. This isn't over, Astarian. <laughs> Poor fools. They actually think Cazador will save them. Yes, and they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's already set. <laughs> They're doomed. The only question, seven sigils on seven spawn. And Cazador had... Trust me, I'd rather slaughter someone else's family, but if that's what it takes... And it's not like their sweet innocence, they brought Cazador just as many victims as I did. <laughs> You're not getting sentimental, are you? I thought you were with me on this. All right, let's go. Shapeshifter's key unlocks the door. Interesting. Probably break his.
Father Logan's on here, crossed off. A target list, perhaps. These tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Blood near the bed. You notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. is the blood source, a body hidden under the bed. The blood you noticed earlier still remains. I know this key. It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Confuses me for a member of Star. I'd probably break it. Looking for lodgings? I presume you found something interesting to discuss if you're into a ball plot. You as well. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods while up in fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, <sighs> fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? No need to wave documents at me. I'm already Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the... Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek O oh, and you... Well? What are you... Your pleasure is mine, sweeting. Murdered! Ye gods, the poor thing! Oh, by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. Don't miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Waiting. This is Baldur's Gate. Uh, there'll be time for tears. Cruel as it is, I must turn my mind to business, or more precisely, the lack of it. I can spare a little. Anything else on your mind, sweeting? 
Indeed, he's exceedingly handsome. Wits and blades always sharp. Give up now. Well, slow down, sweetie. <laughs> Brothel, pleasure house, den of decadent delights. Shh, shh. Not so loud. Nothing for she but my prices. Better off sleeping in the gutter than that den of a You look like someone whose soul needs feeding. Care to buy some art? Do come again. Oh, honey, I love honey so much. Why is everyone acting so normal? The absolute armies are. Vegetables? What can I do you for? If you're hungry, you know. Challenge. Never a dull moment.
you're not wearing armor to meet my mother and father. Trust no one. Is that blood? No, never mind. My name's Narber, adventurer to be, soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be... What do you think? Can I be a fighter? Phew! I was hoping you'd say that. To tell you the truth, I don't actually like hurting people very much. Or, or getting... It's a good job I ran into you. Stranger, thanks for stopping by Calm's Garms. I'm Calm. Well, Carmen. <laughs> what can I do you for? Ugh. If it's empty patty you want, or if it's genuine quality and genuine taste you're after, Calm's Garms has you covered. A killer? That's. God. I have no love from my brother, but that's extreme. Thanks for warning me. But it's him that needs warning, and he never listens to me. You wouldn't either, if you knew him like I did. Since Dad died, he thinks he's cock of the bloody walk. That I should give up my shop and work for family business. For him, dick. Maybe you should keep your nose out of where it doesn't bloody belong. Sounds good. Get you something a bit fresher than your current outfit. Remember. Don't draw any trouble on old Enthar. He acts like he's up for it, but he's retired for a re Greeting, sir. Your noble be- How may I be of service?
short father. You break it, you. Now here's someone who appreciates. Stop! Now you've just sampled some of Baldur's Gate's finest incense. Delicious, no? <laughs> you may find my selection somewhat misaligned with your. I must say, I'm rather proud of it. The wood panelling cost a fortune, but it's so worth it for the looks. Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before quaffing. Hmm? Be sure... Hello again, sir. Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Be sure to s Voss stands at the ready. All that rem how we get in. You told me the armor was a bargain. Need 
something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job. Whatever you're working on. You told me the armor was a bomb. I can't believe you tried to climb up one, you madman! How else was I supposed to see the rock things? Someone there. Has a signal heard? I wonder what the next move is. What to do? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Well, that ends yeah, not as bad as it could have.
Lord Gortash has been expecting your arrival. Please hold a moment. The Watcher's presence fades, but an- My most esteemed guest, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Of course, of course. My steel watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Trouble to get inside, and now Gortash invites us to see him. This chamber. going.
that should work. Tempers are rising. It's clear. Don't like the look of this Gartash fellow. But don't you tell him I said... Keep your hands to yourself. You're being... Greetings, citizens. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. The Steel Watch, appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, but a moment. I must greet a most honored guest. My friend, Forgive the cold welcome. My steel watchers are eager watchdogs. For the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorms, it's become vexingly willful. The Quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the Crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the Grand Design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. It's not, but it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again.
There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here, so the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. An ally could be useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well, we can dispose of him then. Carefully, but discover nothing. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. Let me demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A doppelganger, hidden among us. Squaw! The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is. Where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general. Catholic thought. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. 
You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the absolute. Next, I... we... will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swear... Gather guests. Grant ye consent.
Lucius in the Abbey is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Stand down. The aggressive action will not be the steel. Dearest patriarch, my look, I understand. You know, the quakes are it. I expect next, not the most together. Of course. Gortash always did have an arm. It's not. When it finished, once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. There's an old wizard with Catherine. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changed. She's taught it Orin. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory. I'd like furthermore, Thorm stone. Together we what do you say? I can detect him. An ally could be useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well, we can dispose of him then. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his... Then let it be rich by the... Your... Who? I... A shape ship? I mean, it's not me, but... The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Even... For all it... That's where... I'll... And now... You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail... For... Next. For... In such... Next. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Powerful connections. Let's leave... Soon. First... You will follow distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, and the God. I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests. Grant ye consent? Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. Generals and Dukes. The house was on fire. I don't know.
Shut up. What do you want? I don't need to escape. I've got food. is faster speed in a ten day. Eat all the onions. Three balls of the stew. What now? <gasps> Goodness, how embarrassing. I had a heavy lunch. Welcome to Worms Rock Prison, the fifth nail we jail. What's your business? Gortash, handsome, noble, authoritative. He watches over the city, seeing everything. I don't know. Better. All we can do is be patient. doing in here you notice the gnome slip a lockpick into his pocket you're not a fist go on get out or i'll i'll wake the others i'm no thief i i was going to pay it back i'm getting out of here Taking a ferry down the coast to get me home. Those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple, though. Danger money. It's a joke. No! I mean... Uh, I'm just... I quit. My wife said we have to stand and fight and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. I'm not a soldier. I only joined for the uniform and a warm bed. They're better off without me. You shouldn't be in... You shouldn't be in here.
Keep those feet moving. Thank you for the lift, my friend. Thank you very much indeed. Tata! The people must be surrendered. All livestock is now on the Ducal Council for liberation. Ongoing emergency. Failure to comply will result in imprisonment and, if necessary, more severe punishment. You're having a chuffing laugh! We lost most of our herd to wolves. On the way here, we've got almost nothing left, and you want to take that from us? I've had enough. I've got a good mind to. Problem, citizen. Forget I said anything. All right.
Please, don't look at me. I brought my own pairing. Fate, dost thou require a new ally? time in 200 years you can forget just how much color there is in the world hmm? yes of course obviously sorry did you want something oh, darling i'm hurt uh, it sounds the bustle here takes some getting used to still we must flow with the current we find ourselves in. She expects those who seek to use the weave. I doubt she's asked many of her followers. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. With... Seek and you shall find me. What to do? Keeping very well, I hope. Come to bask in the glow of the... Since we arrived in the city, I can't help but feel a little anxious. But I'm not sure I know why. I don't think it's what happens if we fail that concerns me. We'll be beyond our worries at that point. I think what bothers me is what happens if we succeed. I've never been able to write my own future. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, I want to save my parents, of course. Take them away. Far from Shah's influence. Someplace peaceful. Away from the city, perhaps. I like room for animals. Lots of them. All shapes and sizes, so long as they appreciate a warm fire and more affection than they know what to do with. I want to grow flowers. I want to be surrounded by colors every day. I'm tired of darkness. Yes. 
I want to share it all with you. If you're willing. Then it sounds like I have everything I need. More of life than I'd ever imagined possible without Shah. Baldur's Gate. It's so strange. I don't remember much of it, yet I can't help feel like I suppose it is. Though the chance to savor the moment might be brief, given all that still lies ahead of us. I may have to rely on your local knowledge to plug the gaps in my own mind. Hopefully, I'll remember more than I expect to. Of course. I thought you'd... This is the city proper, is it? I didn't expect it to be so outrageously... I brought my own pet. tries to jam down our throats. If you ask me, I don't think Gortash even deserves to be called a... Keep your hands to yourself. Get out of our alley. Go. On. is Joel's house. No letters, no clerics, no herb sellers, no potion peddlers, and no steel watch. Unless you want to set fire to the Baldur's 
Ninth Gazette headquarters. I'm still right here. to get those cabbages into the city. No. his parents like this. It's a tragedy, yeah. But it's not like we can look after him. Little Lamb found his forks gutted. Didn't see it happen, Martha. Maintaining temp. I... I got lost. And then when I found Mummy and Daddy again, I shouldn't have run away. Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell Laroakin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? <laughs> 